in this video i will show common integer dissipating passing circuit for this integer transistor let the transistor be npn for this just double click on the canvas and type npn and you will get a npn bipolar transistor then click on it and this is our transistor or you may have this writing library and then simscape electrical and semiconductor and there are npn bipolar transistor same here So I am deleting this and we need a register for this. Just go here, go library and simscape and we have to go see on the library electrical electrical element and this is a register. This is a register we need for register for biasing circuit for this just copy and paste here. This is correct enter and control R for opening the register. We have to put all this register control R and control R and then connect the circuit. Yeah, connect here. Yeah. The disabled resource for biasing and just go same path and go electrical sources and here is our disabled source. Disabled source and connect it. We need electrical reference as a ground and we get same path and electrical element and References just type it and paste it here and connect. Yeah. Okay, I'm just giving the value and let the voltage may be 24 volts and this will store this. So capacitor that was let about 10 kilo ohm and it also 10 kilo, kilo ohm okay and we will less than 20 kilo ohm that one kilo ohm and this will be much larger that one and two kilo ohm so our circuit is on this okay and we need a server configuration block our simscape foundation library and we will cut here utilities and server configuration block in simscape we need server configuration block for every circuit just connect on it and we uh, here under utilities uh, we will need a ps sibling converter VB, DC, and the VE for this. We need, uh, we need electrical sensor and voltage sensor and a display. Uh, for display, uh, display, sync, and the So firstly we are calculating VE just connect on it and here and here and yes. So this is a circuit and we are calculating VE by 
Alistair has the sense of the E and the ground. If we run our circuit, so it is you can see point nine nine double four volt. So we move down E E point nine nine double four. And then we will calculate the C. Uh, is the C terminal? And this is the count. Then I can run it. And here you can see 14.13. Uh, our DC is 14.13. And again we will calculate VB. So this just connect this terminal. And B terminal and then cut run it and you can see our VP is 1.434 so now uh, you will uh, you will uh, calculate the VCE VDP or anything by using this curve so this is for Thanks for watching.